What's going on guys? I'm coming at you with another MLB The Show 19 video. Today we're just trying to draft a 12-0 team here on our main account. So we're going for 120 or more likes on this video. Subscribe if you guys are new. On the road to 31,000 subscribers. Comment anything down below. Feel free to follow on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, second channel. All that stuff's down in the description. And let's just go ahead and hop right into this draft and then play the first game. At least try to start off undefeated with this team. Okay. Hmm. I honestly think I might try out this Kenley Jansen. Like, I would love to try out Ryan Sandberg here, but I, I really do want to try this Kenley Jansen because I'm thinking about legitimately trying to buy him for my ranked seasons team. So, down in the comment section below, let me know if you've used him, you've faced him, how is he, do you think he's worth the stubs, and do you think he would do well in ranked seasons? I've faced him once or twice, and he was pretty good. So, I'm going to draft him here. I'm excited to use him in this Battle Royale run. Uh, Gabriel Moya and the pen around of the rotation Tyson Ross in the rotation man Aaron Judge or Pete Alonzo so Aaron Judge is better against righties and he's wait is he injured if he's injured he won't have inside edge I'm pretty sure he might be on the IL right now Pete Alonzo has better contact and a little bit better vision let me know down in the comment section below if you guys want to for this round who you guys would choose would you choose this tops now pete alonzo or would you choose aaron judge i'm thinking i'm gonna go pete just because he's a little bit better of a, a, a contact hitter has higher vision and his power is still good now he sucks at fielding at first base for this card but i i, I think this is a smart pick i'm hoping it is I've, i haven't used aaron judge yet this year or this pete wow Either way, we're trying Pete Alonzo. I like this card. I, I think I like this card. I like how it looks, and I'm going to try it out. I'm sorry, Aaron. Let's see. Oh, our final diamond round already. I haven't used Nolan Arenado, and I want to. I really want to try him out. He's another guy that I just I really want to try on his card. Gold round. I love Jorge Polanco cards. He carried me to 12 wins uh, on, my, on my second account. Let's see. Carlos Martinez out of the pen. Yeah, he's going to be he's gonna be my second go-to righty out of the pen there. Let's get three common rounds in a row. All right, we got one. That's fine. And... Common fielding literally lost me my first game with the, with the previous team we had. If Trey Mancini would have made that catch, I legit think we could have won that game. And it makes me not want to draft Jose Martinez. So I'm going to go Byron Buxton, get his speed there. We'll get Robbie Erlin out of the pen. JT Chargois. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I'm sorry if I am. Feel free to let me know how to pronounce it. Out of the pen. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting this Mike Stanton card. He's not... He is kind of bad at fielding, but he's not a common... Yeah, I'm going to do Mike Stanton in right field. Hopefully, I like that pick. Uh, Randall Grichik in left. Or do I do AJ Minter as one of my lefties? He throws hard. Hmm. I'm going to go Randall Grichik, though. I'm going to go Randall Grichik. Yo, Gary Sanchez. Yes. Oh, I like this team. I do, I do, I do. So, here's the thing. I want two silver or better lefties, right? And there's a chance that if I draft Cesar Hernandez here, I don't even get a silver round for the rest of the draft, but it's like I don't really necessarily want Pedro Strope either. I'm going to do Pedro Strope here. All right, so... Yo, no lefties. So now... Oh, man, this is not good. No lefty relievers. Dang. I'm going to go Devin Travis as my second baseman. We'll get a starting pitcher here. Yeah, we'll get a starting pitcher. Please give me silver rounds. Okay, silver, where's the lefty? Where's the lefty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oliver Perez is my current go-to lefty. Give me another silver round, another lefty. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Wow. That actually is the best way that that could have worked out for me. All right, so... Honestly, we don't have a silver round. We don't have a gold round. We don't have a diamond round. I'm not really going to try to replace anything. I'm just going to try to get pinch hitters. Michael Franco, pinch hitting against lefties or maybe righties. Pinch runner, Cole Tucker, switch hitter as well. Let's see. Another pinch runner. I don't think we're ever going to even use one. Chris Davis, pinch hitter versus righties. And backup catcher. Or we could go Greg Bird. He's a beast. 
He really is. Now, we'll go back up catcher in case we need that. That's fine. And real quick, woo! I'm going to go ahead and make the lineup. I hope you guys enjoy watching me make the lineup. I saw a few comments, I think like two or three, uh, a few weeks ago that said, hey, I liked it when you actually showed us showed us you making the lineup. So hopefully you guys like that. And then we're going to go uh, get in and try to start off 1-0 with this team. Bullpen. I'm digging the bullpen, though. Uh, we got Chapman and Perez as my lefties. And Pedro Strope. Carlos Martinez and Kenley Jansen as my righty. So hopefully we like that. Then for the lineup now. No lefties. No. Shoot, I didn't realize that. Okay, so Gary Sanchez leadoff. Followed by Pete Alonso. Then Jorge Polanco. Then Arenado. Man, there's not much we can do with this lineup. Now, <laughs> I'm excited to see how they do because we have a lot of good righties. But just... I don't know if I'm going to like having all righties except for one switch hitter. So let me know what you guys think in the, in the comment section. Would you do anything differently? I feel like Gary Sanchez with that power is a great leadoff hitter. Or Pete Alonso, one of those two. But I just like with Gary Sanchez's lower contact, I like him leading off against like a common better. We'll see how it goes. This is the lineup. This is the bullpen. Honestly, not a bad team. Let's try to start off 1-0 undefeated with this team. We're playing the Milwaukee Beers. Our opponent has 99 Willie Mays, 92 Andre Dawson, 86 Daniel Murphy, Edelberto Modesty, Max Kepler, Wilson Contreras, David Dahl, 76 Miguel Sano, 80 Jack Morris on the mound. Man, how do you have three diamonds, two golds, and three silvers in your lineup? Then you get a gold on the mound, dude. Unlucky for us. 80 Jack Morris on the mound. Gabriel, er, uh, yeah, for him. Gabriel Moya on the mound for us. We're the home team. Really trying to win this game. Start off 1 0. Hoping this is the 12 0 team. <laughs> wow. Yo, no, no, no. There's no way we're going to lose this game, right, guys? There's no way we start off 0-1. I don't want to. I do not want to start off 0-1. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. No, you're done starting pitcher, okay? It's time to bring in Kenley Jansen. He's not he's not fully warm. It's impossible to be fully warm after one batter unless it's, like, a really long at bat. So, Kenley Jansen, 99 version, guys. I don't know if I showed you guys the stats either. So, if y'all want to see him, here they are. Amazing stats. And he has a cutter, slider, single change, four seam. Look at that velo. Look at that break, that control. Like, just, uh, this is an insane card. This really is. I'm really hoping this can be good. So, let's just start him off with a slider. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, let's do a cutter now. I feel like his motion is also kind of a little bit trippy. There we go. One batter, one out. Yo. Okay. So, what I need to do is just get him in as early as possible. Okay. And hope that he can carry me through however long we need. And win and, and go 12-0. I'm really hoping he does well. I, I really hope this is good. There we go. Good pitch. All right. 0-2. So, we want to do slider low and inside. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Strike three. He went. Let's go, Kenley. Ooh, I'm digging him so far. All right, let's maybe do a sinker low and outside. This is sometimes a good pitch, I think. <sighs> That's my issue, though, dudes. I can't locate. I suck. <laughs> uh, There we go. Ooh, perfect. Yo, I'm liking Kenley Jansen. It's only three batters. It's only three outs, right? But I'm liking him so far, and I'm excited to see how he does for me in the rest of this game. Gary Sanchez, Pete Alonso, Jorge Polanco here in the bottom of the first inning, down by one. I feel like I really need to tie the game here in this inning or my chances to win this game are going to go down. So let's try to tie the game at least here in this inning. 0-1 to Pete Alonso. Gary Sanchez, we grounded out. I was way too early on that first pitch here. Oh, Pete Alonso. No, we got under it. Dang. I thought maybe we might be sending that one over the wall, but nope, that's out number two. All right, guys, I'm down to my final seven ounce with this team pretty much. I don't want to lose. I don't want to start off 0-1. However, I have to score a run if I want to win anyway. So we got to score. We're going to really try our hardest for the rest of this inning. And just, oh, man. Hey, it's dropping. Okay. We got to take advantage of that. We got a little bit lucky there. The MLB gods gave us a gift. We got to take advantage of it with Nolan Arenado. Ooh. Oh, I'm excited to use him up to bat. Nolan Arenado lining to the third baseman out. Dang. End of the inning. Down to my final six outs, but I think I got a little bit better, maybe, as the inning went on. And I'm hoping Kenley Jansen can continue to do well on the mound. How fast is his four-seamer if I'm throwing it high and like that? 
97. I think I think it said on his card it gets up to what like 98, 99, which is pretty sick. Oh, and two to Max Kepler. How's the change up? Oh, beautiful! Look at that. Wow. Man, that's a tempting pitch. I wonder if the cutter's trippy. Oh, it is, I, but not trippy. Tempting. That's a better word. They both start with T's. So one out here in the inning for Kenley Jansen. I'm honestly kind of hoping he can go through the third inning for me. I know he's getting tired. I don't want to overdo it. That's what I've done in the past, though, a lot, is I overdo it with my relievers, and I'll draft, like, a really good reliever. I overdo it, and then that causes them to be bad because they're really low on energy, whatever. Uh, so I don't want to do that here. I think if he gets into the red, I might bring in somebody else. That's my fault. I just threw the fastball down the middle. Oh, look at, look, look at where the pitch was. Just look at it. Yeah, not great at all. Dang, man. And see, that's not even Kenley's fault. It's mine. But now my ERA with Kenley's trash. All because I just decided to throw a fastball down the middle. Dang, man. I'm sorry, guys. We're down two to nothing. I really don't want to lose, though. So we're going to try our best. I'm going to focus up. I'm going to stop talking when we're up to the plate again. And uh, I'm just going to really try and tie the game and take the lead in the bottom of the second inning i just wanted to show you guys kenley like he was kind of one of the main focuses of this video i was excited to draft him so i, sh I should have just thrown cutters to everybody bro the cutter's been yo i should have thrown nothing but cutters man i hate how i, I realized some of this type of stuff when it's too late down to my final six ounces His starting pitcher oh wait it's jack morris though oh i forgot he has a gold on the mound i was thinking he's leaving his common in for this long and i'm still sucking but it, it is a gold starting pitcher Oh, Randall Gritchick, yes sir, cutting the lead in half. Nobody down in the second. That's what we need to do to be able to win this game, guys. Keep hitting home runs just like that. Mike Stanton, tying the game. Our second sh solo shot of the inning and we tie it here in the bottom of the second. Let's go. Michael Franco, pinch hit homer as we take the lead. With two down in the bottom of the second inning. Wow. What an inning. No, dude. It's not good. Starting off the top of the third inning with a base hit. Kenley Jansen's no longer on the mound. However, the guy that we pinch hit for him hit a home run to put us in the lead. So, you know, it's kind of worth it. And Willie Mays, who has a solo shot coming up here. We have Carlos Martinez on the mound. He has 99 speed on first base. The tying run, nobody down. Stealing, slide set, fastball as high as we could in the zone. We got him easily. Look at this. Let's go. Getting the outs. It's like that base hit didn't even happen. There we go. We're winning the game. Yes. Oh, that makes me happy, guys. I really was not that confident that we were going we to be able to pull through. But our team had a really nice bottom of the second inning, hitting three dingers. And uh, Kenley Jansen. Now, four strikeouts, one hit. That hit was 100% my fault. I threw a fastball down the middle. He hits a home run. Like, that's 100% my fault. It's not his. But Kenley Jansen, I am hoping he can just carry me through this battle royale run. You know, we're going to get him in as soon as we can. And he's just going to carry us. That's what I'm hoping for. If y'all enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything down below. Follow on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, second channel. All that's down in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.